Yeah, Chatty Doo Part 3. Okay, we're going to uh, grab one of our bottles. Does it really matter which one? Oh, I don't know, really. Lots of perlite and polystyrene at the top. Okay. Get our lids. Chicken breast, chicken breast, chicken breast. Yep, there we go. So, how about that one? Yeah, that's nice. Red, a lot of red organism in that one. So that will be the one with that lid. We'll just make do with that. Now I worked out what, the, what what this one was. It was we put the chicken breast down the bottom, and so it took longer to start off. But okay, now we're gonna get our little spoon. We're probably gonna have to make two trips, <laughs> but we're gonna get out a load of manganese dioxide. I was gonna talk more about this on the the potting up demo, so. If you can bear with me. Now, we're basically going to do roughly 10% less. Uh, so this one will be 10% of that sort of thing. Hang on. Maybe I should put that one in first and take the lid off this one and we'll do it again. Because I haven't got that much on the card. Because one of my cards lost the tang. <laughs> it's lost the tang, so I can't <laughs> record on it. <laughs> and all the clips are locked on it, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to uh, go and buy some more cards for this season, unfortunately. Because uh, they've got to be these gold cards to run at 1080p and the possibility of 4K. So basically, what we're going to do there is I'm going to do this. <laughs> and mix it up sort of thing. So this now will be one tenth of that. It should increase the reductive flammable gas production. So whether that will help with the... Um... <coughs> but you can see, you don't need much to make an impact on this sort of size container and that will help us with our calculations of how much we want to put into a pot, if indeed we want to put into the pot, because we may actually delay things. <laughs> So you may actually have to set it up a month or so in advance before you put the plants in so everything settles down and everything climaxes, which is a term. Now I just want to, before we run out of, oh, we've still got some time on the card. This one here, it seems to be the reductive flammable gas coming off the, the poly. It does seem to be reducing the iron. It's slowly coming up through there. Very slow process on that one. So um, obviously adding the protonation material does speed things up. And that one there, is, can you see it's getting like a sheen on the surface there? I think I am on spot colour so I, I'll see if I can close in and get you a nice screenshot for the Facebook page. If I can, I don't know. Anyway, I tried fellas, I tried. We might actually do that nitric acid if I've got just enough nitric acid uh, left over in the bottle. I might do a 10% dilution, which means the pH will then be 3. Um, in other words, instead of taking that other spoon, I'll take this spoon, it will be about 10% 10, 10 of the volume. And we should then get a, which is 3, which is the pH of peat. So in theory, the organism is actually growing in the peat, it should be able to survive in pH of 3 with a nice reductive flammable gas environment. But you've got to start somewhere, fellas, you know? Uh, okay. So you know that 70% nitric acid um, of that sort of volume will give you pH of 2 and 10% of that should give you pH of 3, sort of thing, because uh, it's a logarithmic scale. And we take our lid for this one. Out there, and we do the same with this one. And now this one will be 40% because it's one litre, not 1.25 litres. Okay, if the calculations are correct, I could be wrong with the calculation. I do make these um, not infallible, fellas. Uh, some other people tend to sort of put the, the airs and graces that they're totally infallible. I've noticed though over time they don't seem to do anything CP wise, they don't seem to do anything CP wise. So when push comes to shove, fellas. I know they're going to shut the fuck up because they've got nothing to show, nothing to say. 
So when I go out there eventually, I think I'm going to have to wait till the flowery is dead because I don't really want to turn up at an international conference with the flowery there because from my experience from the other day, I think the learning curve is telling me no, it's not a good, wise thing to turn up and, at an international conference where that bloke is still, well, the flowery is still alive because I'll probably just take the bugger out. It'll piss me off so much. I don't know if that's the reason why... Um, when I phoned around around the death of Dennis Daly, everyone sort of got, gave the impression that they knew I was going to be ringing them sometime, and they uh, they accepted who I was. There was no question about who I was. Uh, most of them spoke to me for at least 20 minutes, some from about an hour and a half. Uh, everyone said something definitely did happen. Everyone was a bit worried about being sued. Everyone was quite happy to talk around the subject. Um, 